up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another buff bunny try on haul this collection is called the secrets in the sand collection it's coming out on august 20th at 1 p.m central time these are some of the items that i have here i have quite a few items that i've never received before different colorways that i've never had different styles different fabrics for me so it's really exciting i actually get to review like a couple of brand new items for you guys this is going to be great i haven't tried any of it on yet i've been waiting for this review so you guys can kind of get a sense of you know first true feelings of items i know that i'm going to be excited for the shorts because i have some siren and rosa shorts and those are my favorite i have a couple of leggings I have more bossy print, which is cool. And it's just, it's gonna be great. And I can't wait to try it on. So we're just gonna get it going. As always, I will give you guys my stats. I'll put them up over here, but I am 5'3". I have a size small and everything you see here from shorts, leggings, and sports bras. Um, my measurements haven't really changed since the last time. I did a try on haul a few weeks ago. So I'll just put the measurements up again for you guys. But yeah. We're gonna get started. The first fit I put on is the Crystal Crop Top version two, and then I also put on Legacy Leggings version two. Both are new pieces that I've never had before, but I wanna start with the top. Again, I have all these pieces in a small. This is pretty much your like mid-length slash still cropped tank. It has a built-in shelf bra, so it has this liner here. I don't know if the cups are removable. I didn't check, but I would assume that they are. And then it's a very simple like swoop in the back. Overall, I think this is a really good basic piece, especially if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear just sports bras at the gym. If you like a little bit more coverage, but still want to feel, you know, supportive, this is a really good top for that. I think this is like a medium to high support. I feel like pretty good compression and it's also very comfortable. The fabric is the Nubre fabric. So it's like that double brushed soft fabric. Yeah, that's really all I gotta say about the top. It's a really good basic piece, and this is also a great top to wear outside of the gym. You can pair it with shorts or denim jeans, whatever you wanted to do, but this is that. I think it's very cute, very basic, and a really good like staple piece to the collection. That's what I think, so. Let's move on to the Legacy Leggings version two. So as I said, these are the Legacy Leggings, but they're version two, meaning that they're not the Nubre fabric. Uh, they're actually like a nylon fabric slash mixed with something else. And this is also the pattern black Cobra. If you guys shot the Mad Scientist collection, you may recognize this fabric or this pattern. It kind of reminds me of the Viper leggings, um, except this fits just like the Legacy. So it's the no front seam, high waist. And it also has like the butterfly seaming in the back, if you can see that. Uh, these are a size small, great compression, love the feeling of them. They feel like they'd be really great to do like high performance movement in them just because it doesn't feel like it's too constrictive and it doesn't feel like it's suffocating, which is great. And let's see, let's check squat proof. I would say they're pretty squat proof. And even if you come up, you can like pull the fabric apart and there's nothing there. So that's good. I'm definitely a huge fan of this version two of the Legacy Legging. The Legacy Leggings are already one of my top leggings and now this version is just as great. I would say this runs very true to size and you still have good stretch in there. So definitely not enough stretch to size down because it's, it's supposed to be like a comfy compression, not super tight, but yeah, these are them. Very soft. I keep rubbing my legs because it feels so smooth. It's nice, but we're gonna move on to the next outfit. This next fit is the Rosa sports bra and the siren shorts in the grounded dark olive color. Very pretty. This is the sports bra. It's the Rosa sports bra version two. It's in the new gray fabric. So it's that buttery soft second skin kind of fabric, medium to high intensity support. In my opinion, the straps in the back are my favorite. And these don't cut into your traps, which is awesome as well. I believe it runs very true to size. And this is another staple sports bra for Buff Bunny. They typically launch this in almost every collection in different colors and styles and fabrics. But yeah, this is that. I have about five Rosa sports bras. They're becoming some of my favorites. So this is definitely a top pick, I should say. Now let's talk about the siren shorts. You guys have seen the siren style before. It has this cross fabric here in the waist, which is super flattering. The shorts are also in the new gray fabric. So they are very soft. I will say the waist has been like rolling a little bit 
as I've been like moving around, it tends to slide just a smidge. I think it's just because the fabric is so soft that the waistband will roll just a tad. But as far as squat proof, the shorts stay in place. Nothing's really coming out. The booty stays covered. The fabric isn't see-through, so that's great. The Nubray fabric is not known for being super sweat wicking. This is a fabric that if you sweat a lot, it will likely show, but that doesn't mean you steer away from it. I'm just being honest, it might show some sweat, but this is the cute Siren Short Rosa Sports Bra fit. Let's keep it going. Okay, this is the next fit, you guys. This is the Sphinx ribbed sports bra, I believe, with the Rosa Shorts. Let's talk about the bra. It's in a size small, and I did want this bra because I just wanted to see what this fit would look like on me. I'm not very busty, so I was like, oh, I'll probably be like pretty flat. Y'all, it makes me look like I have girls and I don't really have them. It's kind of, it's weird for me. I feel like I'm exposed. I feel exposed right now. But I will say it fits very nice. I think it's very flattering. For me, like I'm a full size B and it keeps the girls well covered. I feel pretty supported. Now there is like a lot of inner boob being shown here. So I don't know if I would do like a chest day in this. I don't think I would like hunch over quite a bit or like push my arms together in any sort of way to encourage this to gape more. But this is the front of the bra. I got a size small again. I really do think the cut is very flattering. I would love to see this cut with this closed, like just a solid bra or even like mesh. You know, just to like, for the girls like me who aren't as, you know, out there with everything, I love the cut. I would just love for this to maybe be smaller or like meshy. Anyways, and it's also like ribbed, as you can see. There's a little bit of rib action here, and this is the back. Again, it fits very nice. It fits pretty true to size, I would say. I think, I think I would stay with this size because this neck part was like a little tight to pull over and I'd be worried that an extra small would kind of like make me feel claustrophobic because this is already pushing the boundaries for me. I'm not good with high neck coverage here. It's just, it makes me feel anxious, but this is the bra. I think it'll grow on me. I don't know if I'll train in this bra. I might just wear it as like a going out top with like a jacket or something, or maybe I'll be brave and I'll wear it to the gym, who knows. But I just feel, I don't know. I feel, I wish Wade was here. I would ask him what he thinks. He probably would love it, but it's a cute bra. I think if you, if you don't care about the keyhole being there and it makes you feel like sexy and it makes you feel confident, like get this bra and rock it. For me, it's just a bit much. It's a bit more open than I thought it was going to be. That's all. Um, but otherwise, like this part feels really good. The rib cage part feels very secure. So I'm not worried about anything really falling out in this aspect. I'm just more concerned about making this keyhole gape even more if I do certain movements with it. But who knows? This is that the Sphinx bra size small. It's very cute. Maybe maybe in a couple days it, it'll grow on me more. Who knows? Check out my Instagram. If I wear it, I'll let you know. <laughs> but we'll talk about the Rosa shorts now. So the Rosa shorts are in the same fabric as the Siren shorts. It is the new Ray fabric. Still super soft. I am experiencing a little bit of rolling at the top, which it, that's fine with me. It doesn't bother me. I'm just sharing that with y'all because I know rolling can be bothersome to some people. So these are the shorts, size small, high-waisted, no front seam. This is the back, very simple. There's no like seaming detail going on back there. As far as squat proof, looks good to me. I personally love training in shorts these days. So like the Rosa shorts, the Siren shorts, Legacy shorts, they're all great. They're some of my favorite ones, but yeah, these fit very similar to the Siren shorts. So the review that I gave for the Siren, very similar for the Rosa, just it's not the tapered like VN waistband, it's just your regular high-waisted band. And they fit true to size, very comfy, very soft. A great staple pair of shorts, just saying. Next we have the Rosa legging in the color Nile and gold bossy print. So it's like a blue and gold feature. Um, these fit just like any other Rosa legging. They're actually very soft and comfy. It's a 26 inch inseam. It's also high-waisted, no front seam. There's no stitching details in the back. It's just your simple legging. These are probably, I would say like medium compression just because there is a lot of stretch, very similar to 
the legacy leggings I tried on earlier. It's a lot of give here, but I definitely would say these are more true to size than anything. I wouldn't recommend sizing up or down in these just because the stretch is great, but if you get, if you size up, you're gonna get too much in the crotch area. If you size down, it might be a little too constrictive for you, but definitely true to size. Very cute. Love that it pairs so well with the Nile solid color. I think that that's a really pretty combination here. And yeah, as far as squat proof goes, looks pretty good to me. And again, you can always test it out by pulling the fabric apart as you have them on. Everything looks good to go. And that's really, that's really all I gotta say. They fit very similar to the Legacy Legging version two that I had on earlier. Very similar fit. I would just think that the version two Legacy Legging, so the black Cobra, Legging, I think this is more like forms with your curves just a bit more, if that makes sense. Like it fits to your leg. This I feel like kind of fits to your leg, but not as well as the Legacy version too. So if girls who know what I'm trying to say, you'll get it. If you don't get it, it's not a big deal. You can ask me in the comments or DM me on Instagram, but these are the leggings. Now we got one more outfit, so hang in there. Last but not least, I have on the gold leopard set. This is the Rosa Sports Bra version two, and this is the Rebel legging. You guys have seen the Rebel legging before in black, so this is it in gold, but let's talk about the bra first. So again, this is the Rosa Sports Bra version two. I got it in a size small in the color gold leopard. So pretty. I love the subtle leopard detail, and this is the back. Very simple open back, just like the green bra y'all saw me try on earlier. These are two different fabrics though. This is like the Elysium fabric. So it's very like high performance, very compressive, dries quickly, is sweat wicking. Like this is what you would wear for really intense workouts, 100%. And I will say that this is definitely good for high intensity workouts because I feel very compressed and supportive. I still say that it's true to size, even though it feels snug just because how the fabric is, it's supposed to feel tighter than your normal fit. So I don't recommend sizing up or down, otherwise you're kind of defeating the purpose of the fabric and the fit. So again, size small, fits very well. So that's about all I have to say about the bra. It's just a true to size bra, good for high intensity workouts, very compressive, sweat wicking, fits true to size, very cute in the back and the pattern is very, very pretty. So now let's finish off with the leggings and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, here are the leggings, the Rebel legging and Gold Leopard as well, size small. They are high-waisted, no front seam, very, very compressive. Once these babies are on, they are on, they will not move. These are one of those leggings that you have to like inch up your way through your leg. You can't just grab and yank these suckers up because it is, these are very, very fitted leggings. There's not a lot of give here, not a lot of stretching room, but they do fit true to size. That's all I'm gonna say, because this material, if I were to size up, there'd be so much extra fabric in the crotch area, which wouldn't look very cute. Sizing down is not an option. I wouldn't get those things past my calves. So they are true to size, just a more high compressive fit. So if you love high compression leggings, this is the way to go, the Rebel leggings, a thousand percent. Here is a squat test, which it looks good to me. I feel very shiny, but again, like we can even pull it apart. I don't see anything coming through, so that's good. And yeah, that's, I'm getting winded in these try-ons, but this is the last fit, you guys. So cute. Okay, now let's get some final details and wrap this up. I hope you guys like this try-on haul. I tried to keep it pretty quick for you guys while also giving you like a detailed enough explanation to make you confident in your shopping. But if you have any questions, please just comment them down below, DM me on my Instagram, whatever you need to do to make sure that you buy pieces that you know you're going to love. And you guys, big, big news, big freaking news. I now have a discount code. I repeat, discount code. Code Gabby is now a 10% off discount code for you guys. So please, please, please make sure you use it not only to save money, but also to continue to show Buff Bunny that I'm being supported, that I'm doing a good job. And this is a great perk for you guys. Buff Bunny has just did this like this week. So this is really big. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this. Can't wait to see what you guys get. Comment down below your favorite pieces if you want. Uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.